I noticed with my last Wordle video, people weren't actually making their own Wordle game, but wanted a Wordle solver. So I set myself the challenge, can I make a Wordle solver in less than 50 lines of Python? Now, if you've tuned into this channel and you've got no interest in Python or whatever, I promise you I'm going to give you a working solver. And if you're really, really desperate, uh, there is a plan B, which is basically, it's pretty easy to find the JavaScript in Wordle uh, to actually find the solution. But I think that is, let's be honest, outright cheating. So today we are going to show you how this can be a helper. So if you're stuck and you can't think of a word, this will definitely help you, give you hints and save your Wordle streak. I mean, that's what most people are concerned about is their Wordle streak. So all you do is you type in your first word into Wordle, whatever you like. Um, it gives you some suggestions if you're not sure. And then with each word, uh, you type your word in and then you type in green for if you see green, yellow if you see yellow, and W if it's wrong or gray. If you haven't noticed, green and gray begin with the same letter and I don't want to be typing two letters. So let's crack on and see how we can code this beauty up. In this first part, we are putting together our variables and we're going to start loading up the file. So we always do a try and accept and I always use the with, which is the much more modern form of Python, much safer because it guarantees that it's going to close the file. So in this case, we're doing that and we're stripping out any extra characters, except when we can't find the file, in which case I say file not found. And finally, we print some good starter words. These are the ones that uh, apparently are good and we're ready to get started on the main part of the code. So what we need to do first is you get your six guesses. So we uh, start the loop up and this allows you to guess. I've made it so that it only takes lowercase and we use green, yellow and wrong for gray. If you guess something that's completely correct, it's nice to tell people well done. Um, I suspect people stop using the guesser at this point, but if they do, great. Right, so now this is where we do the main part of logic. So the first thing we're gonna do is go through each word in our tuple. So we're gonna go through the entire word list. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each letter in our guess. And the first one is if it's gray and the letter anywhere in the world, we get rid of our other list. We don't need to do it again. And then the second one is if it's green and it's not in the correct uh, part, then again, we say goodbye. Then if it's yellow and it's not in the word at all, again, we say goodbye. And finally, if it's yellow and it's in the same space, then we say goodbye. This very simple logic is very effective at getting rid of most of the bad guesses. Whatever words are left, we uh, print back, and I've just made it a bit nicer, so rather than just printing the list directly, which is fine, what I've done is put eight words per line, and that just makes it nicer for the user experience. I've put all of today's code into this replit, including the cheat function if you're absolutely desperate. So if you're gonna cheat, go to the cheats, the CSV file, find today's date, and it might be correct. It's been correct for the last week or two, but I'm not promising that New York Times might not eventually get fed up of all these cheats and change the word list. So have fun, enjoy yourself. All the links and everything are in the description, and I'll see you next time. 